got a 2018 Honda Civic. This customer was driving and lost all acceleration on the vehicle while it was on the highway, right? So we got a hundred and was a hundred and seventy seven thousand kilometers on the dash. All right, you see it right there. And they were driving along and the vehicle just, you know, wasn't going anywhere. So they pulled over and they contact me and well, you know, to the vehicle, to the shop, right? So first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna put the scan tool on this vehicle and see exactly what the cause is. I mean, I kind of have an idea that we are looking along the line of the transmission, right? But I need to do all my checks first, right? So let's go into intelligent diagnostics and let's see if we can do an auto vent and see if we could get all the criteria for this vehicle. Okay, so this customer is a cool customer of mine. So they he bring all his vehicle to me to diagnose and fix. And you know, I would like to get this up and running because this is my wife's car and she really loves it. <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, let's see what's good. I might let a hater slide on a good day. I'm just trying to catch a vibe. Can you feel me? Long as we live in our lives, then it's okay. Everything is okay. I might let a hater slide on a good day. I'm just trying to catch a vibe. Can you feel me? Long as we live in our lives, then it's okay. Go. All right. So you're not seeing any faults on any of the modules to be honest so we're going to go into the automatic transmission and let's take a look and see exactly what's going on so this this is a cvt transmission okay um, let's go read four codes we have no four codes so let's exit and let's go into read data stream all right so what i like to look at is the input shaft let's Take a look and see if we see engine speed input drive shaft and let's look for the output as well let's take where's the output I'm not seeing anything else turbine speed all right what else am I looking at um, we can look at the solenoids, secondary shaft. Okay, um, let's look at the pulley ratio and let's look at the pulley drive pressure and stuff like that. All right, direction turbine. Okay, that should supposed to be enough. Let's press OK. Let's graph these. All right, so I'm gonna start the vehicle up. All right, good. So my RPM is good. Let's put the AC on because it's somewhat hot. Let's slow it down a little bit. All right, so let's step on the brake. Let's put it in reverse. And let's release the hand brakes. And nothing. I'm... Nothing at all. Okay. So I'm not going anywhere. I got it in reverse. Nothing. Still. Let's put it back in park. Let's put the handbrakes up. So I'm not going anywhere at all. So what I'm seeing here is our secondary shaft is not moving at which is the RPM right here. So the torque converter um, turbine speed is moving the same speed as the input shaft. No, as the engine speed, but not the input shaft. So I think we may have found our problem where the input speed shaft RPM is not moving at the same speed as the engine and they are connected. Hmm. 
All right, so let's come out of here. Let's look for. Let's look for some other pits. Yeah, the input speed shaft is supposed to be moving at the same speed because it's directly connected to the engine. Hmm. This is not good. So the input speed shaft, it is moving, but for some reason it's not moving at the same speed as the engine. Hmm. Is that enough? But the secondary shaft is not moving at all. Again, zero RPM. And the engine speed shaft is at. 287 okay so seeing that the transmission output speed sensor is not showing me anything also the input speed sensor is also well you know not moving right so we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick check I'm gonna drain the transmission fluid but I can also remove one of the sensors and see if I'm seeing any metal filings or something like that where I can get my hands on all right so I believe this is the output speed sensor right there and the input is to the front all right I can't be mistaken but let's pop that off and let's take a look and see if we see any metal debris or anything like that that's attached to there okay so I removed the sensor but I'm not seeing anything major all right, I do have a little particles on it, but I can't see if it's in the filings, right? It's kind of dark down that hole. Okay, so probably see if I can remove the input one and see if it, you know, show me anything. As I said, man, probably damages to the belt or something. Okay, so what we're going to do next is... I'm gonna see if I can get to the input speed sensor and take off the sensor and see if I can see any filings. I didn't see anything on the I didn't see anything on the output speed sensor, right? Um, in order to get to the fluid, I gotta drain and basically lift the vehicle up and get access to the drain plug. But for now, let me just get under here. So I can take off this sensor and see exactly what's going on. All right, hoping to see something that can help me. Not, you know, share some good news to the customer at least. All right. Let's see if we can get this off. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, I'm not sure if that solenoid to the side as well if it's you got a solenoid right down to the side of the engine if it's working but I believe it is because I mean the vehicle does start up I don't have any four codes so it must be something mechanical I also was seeing that the, the input speed sensor was like dropping out so let's see if we could get this out from here, it's kind of dirty. Come on. Okay, you're almost there. Okay, so I just got the sensor out and it's looking fairly clean. So, next thing I'll do is go under this vehicle, drain the oil, and drop the pan. I mean, I'm not seeing anything on top. I can remove the filter housing. I got a filter behind the cooler housing. All right. Um, I could get access to that filter to see if I've seen anything. But that's the easiest thing for us again. So what I'm gonna do before I drop the pan, let's see if we can remove this filler hole and see if we see any fluid coming out. 
if we see anything coming on, that means it has food. Yes, it does. So, I just removed the filler nut and I just got fluid coming out. You can see it. I'm trying to get you this zoom in. Yeah, so that's letting me know that we do have fluid in this transmission. It's kind of dark, but at least it has fluid. Alright, so I was able to check the output speed sensor, the input speed sensor, and also to make sure that the transmission have um, transmission fluid in it, but everything checked out. So the next thing is to go on the vehicle, right, and see exactly what's going on. I may have to drop the sump for the transmission to see if I'm seeing any filings or any belt particles, right? Okay, so we just dropped the sump, and there you have it. All the belt material on the CVT transmission. So I believe this customer definitely need a transmission or rebuild, but there you have it. So when I drained the oil, I saw everything was looking good, but I had my doubts, man. Yup, and there you have it. I might let a hater slide on a good day. I'm just trying to catch a vibe, can you feel me? Long as we live in our lives, then it's okay. Everything is okay. I might let a hater slide on a good day. I'm just trying to catch a vibe, can you feel me? Long as we live in our lives, then it's okay. Cool. Everything is okay. Stuck at a point in my life where every decision's lethal. I've been working on myself because I can't please these people. Throw it all up on the scale to find the lesson. All right, so we finally got this vehicle up and running again. All right, we had a small delay due to a uh, faulty vehicle speed sensor that caused the vehicle to go into limp mode. But once we got that rectified and we set all the parameters, we was able to get this vehicle on the road again. All right, so the customer is definitely going to be happy to get her vehicle back. All right. So in this diagnosis, basically I was able to use scan tool data to point me in direction where to go. And then after I did my checks, I mean, I did basic checks. I didn't even bring on a multimeter, but I just needed to see the data off the scan tool in order to make my call. So yeah, scan tool is very powerful once you learn how to use it. You did compare it to known good, and you're supposed to be good. But other than that, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs down, but I know you're going to like it. So leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down in the box. Peace.